The Perth Wildcats have just taken to the court for Game 2 of their semi-final series against the Gold Coast Blaze. And while this year's championship is still to be decided, a boost for next year's league with the return of one-time powerhouse franchise, the Sydney Kings. It's the new Sydney basketball fans have been waiting for. The Kings have returned. After being kicked out of the NBL in 2008, the club is expected to be a huge draw card next season. It's great to see them come back. I think it's going to be very, very exciting. I think uh, the, whole, the whole city will be excited about seeing the Kings come back. Andrew Lazarus leads the consortium bid, but he's not the only one desperate to see the Kings rule once again. Without a team in Sydney, the city was an untapped market for the NBL. You know, I didn't recognise how big it was until we, until we didn't have it this year, I suppose. Jason Smith was the Kings captain until the club folded in 2008. He now works for the Commonwealth Bank, but it hasn't dulled his love for the purple and gold. I just, I just want to see good basketball, and uh, unfortunately I don't have the leisure to be able to fly interstate to go watch a team or drive down to Wollongong. It's not the ideal time to be launching a new multi-million dollar franchise, but Andrew and his team are confident they've got the formula right. Working from the same rundown building the club started up in in 1988, they've taken the Kings back to their roots. The club is targeting a number of former administrators and players, as well as trying to entice Premiership winning coach Brian Gorgian back from China. Just like it was 10 years ago, the successful Kings means a successful National Basketball League. If this fires in Sydney and Brisbane, and in Melbourne for that matter, or any of the major cities, if it fires there, then the rest, everybody else lives off that. Patrick Dybell, 10 News.